Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is September 25th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to talk about the rising risk of some severe tropical cyclones emerging in a very warm, a much warmer than normal Pacific Ocean over the coming days, in particular, both in the Western Pacific near Japan and in threatening and threatening Japan, as well as near the North American West Coast. But first, I'd just like to provide a snapshot of the present state of play for typhoon seasons in the Western Pacific and hurricane season in the Eastern Pacific compared to past years. Now this year in the Western Pacific for the typhoon season, presently we have seen a total of 24 storms as well as 10 typhoons and five super typhoons. As for totals, the average for the entire typhoon season in the Western Pacific is 26 named storms with 16 typhoons and nine intense tropical cyclones. And the forecast for this year is above average. We are already approaching the total number of storms that were forecast as of August of 2018. So it's possible and even likely that we will see the forecast number of storms exceeded and that this season in total for the Western Pacific will run above average. Now for the Eastern Pacific near North America, the total number of storms at 17 with nine hurricanes and six major hurricanes is already above the climatological average with the average from 1981 to 2010 being 15.4 named storms, 7.6 hurricanes and 3.2 major hurricanes. Taking a look at this record, it's worth pointing out that major hurricanes for the Eastern Pacific now exceed the typical climatology by nearly two to one for the Eastern Pacific hurricane season. One of the reasons why we've seen so many storms, in particular so many strong storms for the Pacific this year, is due to the fact that the Pacific Ocean is much warmer than normal from east to west, with very few regions of the Pacific Ocean cooler than normal. In particular, the near tropical zone from the 20 degree north latitude line southward to the equator ranges from about one degree Celsius above average to nearly two degrees Celsius above average in some locations with some very minor cool pools, but an overall prevalence of much warmer than normal sea surface temperatures. As well, a, an ongoing feature of the 2018 hurricane season has been warmer to much warmer than normals, normal wa waters in sea surface temperatures near Japan. This has enabled a total of seven storms to strike Japan this year, including Cimarron and Jebi, both of which were major hurricanes. It's also, well, another aspect of, of the hurricane season in the Pacific this year that has helped to intensify storms is high atmospheric water vapor loading associated with increased evaporation from warmer than normal sea surfaces. And again, from the west coast of North America, ranging across the Pacific in, and in plumes, running up through the Central Pacific, and in particular, in the Western Pacific near Japan, atmospheric water vapor level levels are, are very high and provide quite a lot of convective fuel for storms in these regions. So there's quite a lot of fuel in the Pacific Ocean right now for hurricanes, and this fuel is provided in part by human-caused climate change, 
which is increase, increasing ocean surface temperatures as well, well as increasing atmospheric water vapor levels. And over the coming week, these conditions appear likely to, if you look at some of the forecasts, to present major storm issues both for the U I'm sorry, both for the North American West Coast, but in particular for Japan, where we could see two landfalls of major hurricanes over the next 10 days. I'm going to talk about these potentials more specifically in two future video blogs. But before I got into that, I did want to provide you with some context with regards to the present situation in the Pacific Ocean, which is providing a baseline that is increasing the amount of fuel for hurricanes and extreme storms coming from this ocean basin. Thank you for joining me, and I'll be chatting with you soon.